So let's talk about soldering on a lead pipe. What we've got here today is a trumpet that came in with a really messed up uh, lead pipe. This thing was all, somebody had tried soldering it, but actually it just melted the whole thing off because um, it had cracked instead of replacing it. So what we need to do is actually replace this lead pipe. So we're gonna replace that guy there with this new one. And so we've got the receiver and the tuning slide male part on that. So we're gonna end up with that over here. This guy over on top of here, where the tuning slide is gonna come in on it. And then all that's going to get mounted up into here for us. So let's go put it together. What we have to do first is get all the surfaces prepped. So in all of the places that something touches, so on this brace here, where this is gonna to touch over, this surface needs to be prepped and this surface needs to be prepped. And we're gonna do that real quick by just buffing those out. Next what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our flux. We're gonna put just a drop of that flux inside of here and roll that around. That way when we mash that up, we're gonna do the same thing on this side. And what I'm gonna to try to do here is I'm gonna to try to turn this tube where the old solder spot matches. The client really likes the patina on the horn, so we want to try to keep that as much as possible, and we'll do some color treatment on it on the new brass as soon as we get it all mounted up. Okay, now that I know that's where I want it set, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to put my flux in on these spots and get it spread around. The flux just helps clean the spot up and bring and helps draw the solder where I want the solder. I'm going to use this mounting jig here. And one of the things that people make mistakes on here is they will stretch or bend the metal around. So what I've done already is I've come in and bent the braces and made sure that everything touches where there's almost no pressure. Everything just comes and sits right in there without having to bend or force the metal around because the tension is what detracts from the sound. So here's what our setup looks like. We've got our horn vertical so I can control where the solder flows up and down this brace instead of around the brace. I want to control up and down. I know I've got an entrance point for my solder right about there. All right, let's go to the next one. You can actually use the heat to draw the solder around the brace and get the solder exactly where you want it. So there's very little to clean up. Now that you've got these two braces done, I'm actually going to take this one off to give me access to this one here. So now what we've got is we've got this lead pipe mounted in all of the spots. In all three braces we've got it hooked up. Now what we're going to do is go in with a buffer and clean all those spots up. Um, and then we're going to age this uh, with a little bit of heat. We're going to use the torch to kind of patina and make this new lead pipe kind of match the patina that the customer likes on the rest of the horn uh, and get it to match.
All right, so we've got all of the buffing cleaned up and you saw that I kind of went back and did that a second time. I was noticing just some real fine details in some areas that I just barely missed. So I wanted to go in and make sure it's really clean so it's perfect for the client. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get this matched out. So there is still a little bit of gold lacquer left on this. As you can see, there's only a little bit left on it. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to clean this up just a little bit and then I'm going to use a torch and heat it up in order to get it a little bit darker color. And then I'm gonna shoot it with a little bit of gold lacquer uh, on top of it to try to get it to match that patina just a little bit. Um, it won't be the identical, but it's gonna be a lot closer. So here we go. At first I wasn't gonna go back in with the second step of buffing, um, but I'm noticing it's just a little bit more waviness in here than I want. So I'm going to go back in with the second step of buffing and smooth this and brighten this up just a little bit. And then we're going to add the color. What I'm doing now is I'm adding a little bit of heat treat to these and I'm going to start darkening and discoloring the brasses a little bit to get it to look, instead of brand new, a little bit more aged like the existing horn. Kind of using the flame as a paintbrush a little bit to watch the age and color come in just a little bit on this. Being careful not to get any spot too hot like I'm soldering. I'm moving the flame a lot. So now what we have is our lead pipe completely mounted on the instruments. We've got the solder cleaned up by buffing it out. And we've got the color trying to match the old patina on this one just a little bit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit it lightly with some uh, gold lacquer to get it to color up just even a little bit closer. Let that dry and then mount the horn and send it on to the customer. So that's how you mount a lead pipe back onto a trumpet. Now that I have these two... Yes! That's how 